Hey everyone, this is Phil with VideoSchoolOnline.com. Today I am going to be showing you how to create closed captions like this right within Adobe Premiere Pro. This is coming from a question from a good friend of mine, Courtney, who needs to add closed captions to one of her projects. And so I thought it'd be a great tutorial to make so that everyone can learn. So thanks Courtney for the question. And so here's the thing about closed captions for everyone. These are not subtitles. These are closed captions that can be enabled or disabled on say a television program. So you aren't going to have a lot of control in terms of what they look like. This is the standard look of a closed caption. You can change the color and the background, but not the font. So if you're adding subtitles, that's something completely different. This is for closed captioning. You can add it to your DVD options or Blu-ray options, or if you're playing on public television, or you could even embed them in the video as subtitles, but they're not gonna be they're not going to look as good as normal subtitles. So how do you add closed captions like this and how do you edit them? So the first thing you'll need to do is open up this captions window. So first you're going to go to window and go to captions. Turn that on. The second thing you're going to need to do is click this new item button and go to captions. We'll call this, we'll op say OK and you can choose different caption options. Uh, typically, any of these will work. Uh, you just have to make sure with whoever you are creating them for that it's the right standard and stream, but I would just go ahead with the CEA 608 and the CC1. Just click OK. I'm just going to call this titles captions 2 in my project window. And so here I have my uh, test right here that I added to my sequence. But if you are going forward and starting a new captions and you add this to your sequence, initially, let me just turn this off because you're not going to be able to see your captions even if you have it on your timeline. You might be wondering, oh, why can't I see it? The reason is because in your program monitor, you have to enable the captions to display. So go to this little wrench settings option, go down to captions display and click enable. And you might still not be able to see it and that will be because the captions display settings are the wrong standard and stream. So make sure that the standard and stream match whatever type of captions you created. So hit OK and now you should be able to see your captions on your timeline. So you will notice that it is only this short, two seconds and 23 frames. And so that's going to change when we start editing our captions. But basically all you have to do now is go through and add your text and break it up into individual captions. So how would you do that? For example, here's a video that I'm making for a video masterclass, silly face right here of me, but I would just listen to this so I say, hey everyone, welcome to the video masterclass. So I would say, hey everyone, welcome to the video masterclass. But you see here that it starts to get cut off and that's because it's too long. So what I'll do is just press enter right after the, and so now it's on two lines. You can't change the size of these things, you can't change the font, you just have to add paragraphs and if there's too much text on one page, then what you're going to want to do is add another ca closed caption box. And so for this, for this, hey everyone, welcome to the video masterclass, it works fine, but I wouldn't want to add any more text here. So what I would do next is just play through this. So the next thing is my name is Phil Ebner and I'm so excited to have you here. So click on your captions again and what we're going to do is hit this plus caption button down here. So then I would type in my text. Hi, my name is Phil Ebener, and I'm so excited to have you in this class. Okay, so I can't see this yet because I don't have the captions layer extended to the end where my cursor is. So what I have to do now is change the timing of this second closed caption box. And what I can see here is that this my time playhead is at 7 minutes and seven frames. So I will go in here to the out point 
and type in 707 or maybe even 10 just to have an extra beat or so. So I can add this now. If I go right here, I can see my name is Phil Ebener and, but my text is cut off again. So I'm going to have to press enter and still it's cut off here. So in this class, I'll just press enter. So now it's on three lines and make sure that all my text is here. So depending on if you want three lines or not, you might have to add another box for just that I'm so excited to have you in this class. But for me, I'm okay with having three lines of closed captioning. I think any more is not good. So add another one. This class has been years and years in the making. And then make sure that the end time is right. So 10.04 because it says 10.04 right here. So you can see it's a little tedious doing this, but hopefully you aren't closed captioning an entire movie, but just a short video. And then I can extend this to that point, 10.04. So now if I play through this, we have our closed captioning pop up. Okay, so you would continue to do that until you have added closed captions for your entire video. If you need to edit anything, basically what you're going to have to do, the timing, for example, say I want this to go from 2.23 to actually eight seconds. Well, if I try to go to eight seconds, it's not going to let me because there's a closed captioning at that spot. So I'm going to have to nudge the second one to eight seconds and 10 frames and then go to this or the third one and nudge it to eight seconds and thir 10 frames. And then I could change the out point of the second one. So you'll have to do a little bit tweaking that way uh, to get the timing just right. And so I would just watch through everything as you're going and make sure the timing is right because you don't want to close caption your entire video and then figure that you have to go nudge the timing of something right in the middle and you're going to have to nudge every single vid closed captioning clip or uh, to make it look good. So make sure you do that as you go through. You can edit some of these things so you can like select the text say in this box right here and make it italics. You can select parts of the text and make it italics. You can change the color of the text. Say you want to uh, change the color for, from black to blue and that's the background. So choose the background right here and then change the color or you can make it transparent or semi-transparent. I would suggest just doing opaque and having a black background. Then if you want to change the color of the text, you click text color and then this color picker and you can choose the text color. But again, black on black background, white text seems to work pretty well for me. You can also change the position of this text with this little position picker right here. You can put it at the top. Say you have a subtitle like this one. Uh, where you don't want to block it with the closed captioning, you can put it at the top, but typically you're just going to have it in the bottom center. So you'd go through that, do that for your entire video. Then what you would do to export this is go to File, Export Media, as if you would export a normal video. Typically we're going to be exporting something like a H.264 file, and how you export the closed caption and files are as a sidecar file basically. So you go to, over to this captions tab, select your create sidecar file, and you can choose your option. This will depend on who you're giving this to, the TV station, the type of DVD, but usually burning DVDs on TV, a scenarist uh, file at .scc should be fine and make sure that it is uh, the right frame rate, which it should be matching your uh, sequence. Um, actually, this one's not matching my sequence, but you only have two options. So I think that either of those would work. And then you would s export it. And what this would give you is an actual separate file from your video file. And so you won't be able to actually open it within uh, the file, the video file. You'll have to add the two later in your DVD or when you're playing it on TV. What you can actually do if you want to burn the captions into the video is choose that option. And you can burn the captions into the video and I'm going to show you how to, that works in just a second. So if I go and export just this first bit 
and I go to File, Export Media. I can do my H.264 captions. I'm going to choose Burn Captions into Video. I'm just going to export this. So if you go ahead and export that and then open it up in QuickTime or wherever, you're actually going to see these subtitles or these closed captions rather burned into the image that, and you can't turn them on and off. There is a way to export your video file so that you can turn off on and off your, your closed captions in digital format. And that is by going to file, export again, so export media and choose the QuickTime format. So choose QuickTime, and then when you choose QuickTime and you go to your Captions tab, you have another option, not just Create Sidecar or Burn Captions into Video, but you have Embed in Output File. And so that will actually add the closed caption file to your video file. I've already exported it, and when you open it up in QuickTime, you will see if I play through this first, you don't see anything. But if you go to File, Subtitles, and English CC, and you play through this again, you will see that the subtitles start to appear throughout your video. So that is one way to, this video clip is being a little buggy, but uh, they will appear and you can just turn it on and off down here as well. But that is how you embed them right within the video itself. It really depends on what your output is, where this is going to be shown, uh, but that is how you use the Adobe Premiere Pro Captions Creator. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I hope this video helped, and I'll see you on videoschoolonline.com or the YouTube channel. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.